obviously they can talk to each other, but is it possible that, that, uh, that humans can convey some type of language to chimpanzees or teach them how to add? Wasn't that what you were working on at one point, teaching them how to addition or, or words? And how did that work? Did that... Well, I never have, but chimpanzees have been taught sign language, and they can learn up to about 700 words that deaf people use. And from that, you can learn fascinating things. Like, for example, some chimpanzees love to paint or draw. Not all of them, and these are captive ones, of course. But um, one young chimpanzee, she was four years old, and she used to fill her page with lovely lines of different colors. And on this occasion, she made a drawing like that. And so her teacher handed the paper back and signed, finish. So the chimpanzee looked at it and handed it back and said, finish. And so this went on about two times. And then the teacher had the, the brains to say, what is it? And the chimpanzee signed back a ball. Well, a, a human, if doing a ball, would do a ball, right? What's the chimp done? The bounce. And that gives you a whole new feeling of looking at the world through the eyes of a chimp. She's drawing the movement. Wow. So um, why do you think people are so fascinated by what you have achieved in your life? I mean, when you were doing this, you didn't do this for world acclaim. You were doing it because you were interested in it. But it turns out the world is fascinated by what you've done with your life. Why do you think that is? Is that people love chimpanzees or like the dedication you've shown or they just admire your courage to do this? What do you, why do you think you're so beloved? I think you should ask somebody else. I don't yes, think that's okay. okay. I All mean, right, well, here's for you know, I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, some people are fascinated by the chimps, especially children. Some people love it that I was a woman. I, I think of myself as a human. I don't care about the male-female bit. Oh, really? Okay, so you think a man could have done this better than you did this? No. Well, th th there are amazing male um, you know, people study apes, but it just happened it was me. You are public information, 89 years old, is that right? 80, 89, yeah. 89, okay. It's a lot of people when they turn 89, they want to kind of chill out a little bit and uh, relax, maybe spend time with the grandkids or something, great grandkids. Um, you're not slowing down any at all. You're not, you're just sitting on the beach anywhere, going to Palm Beach or something. Well, how can I? Because you know, this may sound weird to you, but I truly feel that I was put on this planet with a mission. And right now the mission is to give people hope because if you don't have hope, you give up, you become apathetic and do nothing. And then we're doomed. If our young people give up, right. we're doomed. So, you know, okay, so I'm, I don't know how many years I have left, but when I was young, I had this time and now I'm coming up towards whenever the end is could be one year, could be five years, could be 10, could be 20, I don't know, but I'm getting closer. And so I have to speed up because there is so much I still have to but, do. 